Charity, what are you doing here? Surprised to see me, Kay? You thought you'd finally gotten rid of me for good, didn't you? Well, you did it. I managed to escape. Charity, you don't understand. I didn't have Save anything it, to do. Kay. Charity told me you put a spell on her. That you trapped her in a block of ice and sealed her in a cave. And then you had a zombie take her place. And she did whatever you wanted to try to break up Charity and me. Michael, please. Don't hate me. Hate you? I think you're despicable. Ugh. I can't believe I ever thought you were my friend. I can't. I did it because I wanted us to be more than friends. I love you. I always have. Oh, I knew it. I knew you loved him. And now I know that you were the evil trying to break me and Miguel apart. How could you do it, Kay? You are going to pay for what you did. Soon everybody's going to know what you've been up to. Everybody is going to see you for the evil that you are. Please, Charity, stop sniveling. Now tell me where the zombie is. I'm going to finish her off. Right after I'm finished with you. Ugh, disgusting. Fa la la la, my centuries old. I can't wait to hang out. Well, Tabitha, this is it. The last of our stuff. Thank you again for letting us stay oh, here all this so time. Oh. <laughs> I will never, I'll never forget it. Oh, neither will I. <laughs> But you know what, I have to say, I'm very excited that we're going to be in our own home for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes two of us, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yes, so we go then. <laughs> Come on, Jess. <laughs> hey, you know what? I just want to say that I think all of the terrible times are behind us. We're moving into our brand new house, we'll have a brand new start. And only good things are going to come for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Bye bye. Goodbye. Bye and good riddance. <sighs> Harmony's house, Frau, couldn't be more wrong. Good things aren't coming our way at all. Pain is coming our way just in time for the holidays. <sighs> You said it was urgent to see me? Why? The next step in my plan to break up Sam and Grace's marriage is about to unfold. You would do pretty much anything to uh, get Sam back, wouldn't you? Well, duh. You know, I honestly thought bringing you here, pretending to be Grace's husband from her amnesia-shrouded past, would be enough to tear Sam and Grace apart. <sighs> Their bond was too strong. So now you're bringing out the heavy artillery. Mm. My next salvo has to do the trick. Just when exactly is your surprise supposed to arrive? Tonight. <laughs> and once it's here, Sam and Grace will be finished by New Year's. Mia, ¿cómo estás? Not well. Mama, I, I, I didn't get much sleep last night. Yeah, well, neither did I. Now that Ivy knows that you're pregnant with Julian's child, she will just be waiting to use the truth to destroy Ethan's love for you. And last night, she almost succeeded. Thank you for convincing the maid from the resort in Bermuda not to admit in front of Ethan that that's, she saw me in bed with Julian. All I did was buy you more time, Teresa. You need to tell Ethan the truth before he hears it from Ivy or finds out on his own. You cannot keep this pregnancy a secret from Ethan any longer. Now, you're going to be showing soon. You have to be honest with Ethan, Teresa. There is no other way. You're wrong, Mama. There is no other way. What, what did you say? Um, that it looks like a 
a nice day today. And I think I will go on for a long walk, Mama. I, I will see you later. Teresita, please don't go. Stay here. Let me try and help you. Oh, but there is nothing that you can do. Teresa, but it's cold outside. You can catch a cold. Just let me go, Mama. Teresa, please. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I'll get my things, Mama. You have a, an appointment at the family clinic. Why? Mama, I have to go. Esto no puede ser, Teresa, please. Tell me you're not planning to have an orgy. Please, Teresa, tell me. down? Why the hell not? Because if the Bennett's see that Tabby's taken everything down, no wonder why. And Reese is already suspicious of Tabitha. He'll have fresh ammunition to prove she's a witch. Hmm. Point taken. Oh, I suppose I'll have to leave this dreadful dreck up here for a while. But I can't hate being around this sugar plum schlock. Oh, it's time we got the Noel out of here, Jimmy. Oh. Jimmy likes the decorations. Puts them in the holiday spirit. Oh. A candy cane in lieu of an umbrella. Whatever next, Fluffy will be sporting a red velvet bow, I suppose. Christmas is the time for miracles. Will you get it through your straw-filled head? We don't celebrate Christmas. Timmy knows that if Timmy and Tabby did, she'd enjoy it. Oh, bar humbug. Come on, Tabby. Can't Timmy and Tabby have a real Christmas? Christmas? Stockings hung by the chimney with care? A partridge in a pear tree? Chestnuts roasting on an open fire? You'll be the only one roasting on an open bar in a minute. Jimmy thinks Tabby has him confused with a Yule log. Ha ha! You're the only one confused around here, Timmy. You're a doll. You won't be able to feel whatever warmth it is you think people feel at Christmas. You haven't got a heart. Jimmy hopes this Christmas wish comes true. Then he becomes a real boy with a real heart. What? Keep your eyes closed. Closed. Okay. Ah, where am I? Open them. Surprise. I got. I, I can't believe this. <laughs> Dad, the place looks great. How'd you do it? Well, these uh, overgrown elves helped pitch in. Thank you very much. <laughs> Grace, I know how important the holidays are for you. I wanted you to be able to do the things you love best for the people you love most. Oh, well, that's you and my family. This is so cool. And my friends. <laughs> thank you for going through all this effort. And thank you, giant, oh. handsome <laughs> elves. <laughs> Celebrating Christmas as a family in our new home. Couldn't have given me a better person, Sam. Well, 
the best gift you could give me is having Hastings sign the papers and have him stay out of our lives forever. Well, David wants me to be happy, and I told him what makes me happy is my life with you. So I'm sure once he reads the papers, he'll sign them, and he'll just move on with his life. <laughs> Grace, you're so trusting. I mean, you see the best in everyone, not me. Not when it comes to Hastings. No, I don't know what it is. I, I, I can't put my finger on it. There's something that's very wrong about that guy. I know what you mean, bro. I still got the same feeling that Hastings is not on the up and up. I hate what you're doing, Ivy. Grace doesn't deserve this. She's a good person. Her marriage to Sam is the type people dream about. A couple who deeply and passionately love each other. Sam deeply and passionately loved me once also. And in his heart, I know he still does. The only person in Sam's heart is Grace. No matter how desperately you want to think otherwise. Stop being their cheerleader and just do what I tell you to do. Look, Grace gave me the normal papers. And Sam is chomping at the bit for me to sign them. So what do you want me to do? I cannot stall them much longer. Well, well okay, just pretend to be cooperating. Oh, Grace will eat that up. I, I know, tell her. Tell her that you want to sign the on the papers, but you think you should do it in front of a notary. I doubt if it'll ever come to that. Because once my surprise gets here, Grace will forget all about the annulment. In fact, I doubt if she'll ever give it another thought. Answer me. Answer me, Teresita. Tell me this is not your appointment card. Tell me that you're not planning to have an abortion. It's wrong. Card, Mama, I need it back. Why? Why, my child, why do you need it? This goes against everything that we believe in, everything we hold dear. Mama, please. You know this, Teresa. I know you know this. I know you believe it. me that you would never do such a thing. Tell me there's some mistake why this card was in your purse. I know there's got to be some explanation because there is no way that this could be your card. Do you hear me, Teresa? There's just no way. I'm sorry, Mama. The card is mine. No, no that is not. I have an appointment to get an abortion today. I have agonized over what to do, but this is the only choice that I have. It is not your only choice. So, oh, Mama, I have gone over and over this, and for me, now in my situation, there is nothing else that I can do. I can't tell Ethan that I'm pregnant with Julian's child. I will lose him. Mama, my life would be destroyed. What about your baby's life? can't have it, Mama, and give it up for adoption without Ethan finding out. Or worse, Julian, he might take my baby away from me and raise it as a crane. Even so, Teresa, we are talking about a baby, a life. I can't think about it that way, Mama. I can't. You're in denial, Teresa. You cannot bring yourself to admit that you will be ending the life of an innocent baby. Don't say that, Mama. It's true. You won't even allow yourself to stop and think about that precious creature growing inside of you. Because if you do, you would not be able to terminate this pregnancy. I know, I know you want to solve this problem. You want to put it behind you. 
I, I understand that. But, if, but what you are thinking, it seems like a quick fix. But it isn't, Teresa. If you allow your baby's life to be, to be taken, you, oh God, the repercussions will haunt you for the rest of your life, Mia. And you will never get over it. Never. Please, no. Stop, don't. Oh, please. Hey, Kay, 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 no, wake up. Please don't. Wake up, Kay. Wake up. It's me, it's me. It's okay. It's okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. What happened? You were having a nightmare. We're the only two here. Yeah, yeah. I heard you cry out, so I came in to check on you. I've never seen you this upset. It must have been some nightmare you were having. Yeah, you have no idea. It was, it was terrible. You can't even imagine. What happened? I, I don't remember. I just know that it was... It was really awful. Okay, well, it's okay, all right? It was only a dream. It can't come true. Okay. I hope oh. not. Get out of here before I OD on all this seasonal schlock. Timmy wishes to have the wicked Christmas a chance. It's the most magical time of the year. Yes, well, its magic certainly seems to have affected you. You've turned into a fruitcake. Tabby can make fun of Timmy. But when he becomes a real boy and his wish comes true, she'll be sorry she laughed at him. If your Christmas wish comes true and you turn into a real boy with a real heart, I will wear a Christmas wreath on my head for a week. Now, come on, let's get going. <laughs> Tabby looks wackier than usual with that on her head. Don't worry, doll face. I don't plan on having to do it because you're not going to turn into a real boy. That's what Chubby thinks. I think I'm going to call Charity, see how she is. Hello? Hey, Charity. I missed you at the Nutcracker last night, but it sounds like you're feeling better. What do you want? Well, your family's moving into your new house today, so I thought I'd come over and help so we could spend some time together. Um, thank you, Miguel, but I'm still not feeling very good. Oh, um, well, then, then I'll bring you some soup or something. Um, I'd rather you didn't. I kind of want to be alone so I can rest. Talk to you later. Okay. Oh, and Miguel, please don't call here anymore. Just in case I'm sleeping. Was that Miguel? Is he coming over to help us decorate? No. I guess he's too busy. Charity, is everything okay with you and Miguel? It's fine. Thank you. Charity doesn't want me to come over today. She even said not to call her. Really? I don't get it. I mean, Charity's acting so distant lately, like she doesn't want to be with me. Maybe she's just still not feeling very well. Yeah, that's what she said. You know, we could always do something together today. Thanks for offering, but um, I'm not in the mood. Okay. I'll see you later. My plan is going so well. <sighs> Zombie Charity is going to split up Miguel and Charity in no time. 
I can't take any chances of my nightmare coming true, though. Not when I'm so close to getting what I want. I better go up there and make sure the real Charity is still frozen in ice, sealed in that cave. I'm sure your surprise will make Grace completely forget about me signing the anomaly papers. And everything else, for that matter. Even Sam. Probably. I've got to know Grace pretty well. She's a good-hearted, kind, and loyal person. Completely devoted to family. She'd do anything for family. Yes. Yes. Your surprise will get the result you want, I'm sure of it. That's what I'm counting on. Grace is such a pure and loving heart. She's undoubtedly the most sincerely good person I've ever known. Dear God. I don't believe it. You have fallen in love with Grace. Somehow, somehow I have failed you, haven't I? Or you wouldn't be here right now, pregnant with Julian Green's child, on your way to... Oh my God, what, 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 what sign did I miss? How in God's name did I fail you? No, Mama, no. Look, this isn't your fault. You're an amazing mother, but what I am doing, this... Mama, this is my choice. It's a decision only I can make. No, Teresita. No. Yo soy tu madre. I am your mother, and I will not allow it. Do you hear me, Teresa? I will not allow it. Did you hear me? I will not allow it. I'm sorry. I don't mean any disrespect. But there is nothing that you can do to stop me, Mama. Teresa, I am your mother, and you will do as I say. And I am a woman now, Mama. I can make my own decisions. And I have decided to do this. How? Oh. How can you? Especially now at Christmas when we celebrate the birth of our Savior. It's an insult to all that's decent and holy. Mama, I have to do it now before I start to show. But, but I, I told you about your brother Antonio calling and, and, and that he's going to be home after such a long time. How can you stain such a happy occasion? You think... Antonio is coming home, Mama, but you can't be sure. Well, I am sure about Ethan. He'll never marry me, Mama. If he finds out that I am pregnant with his ex-father's child. And if he learns that I didn't tell him that Julian and I had sex. Even though uh, I was drunk, even though I thought I was making love to Ethan, Mama, he will be so hurt, so angry that I will lose him. And this time for good. And you, Mama, you will lose Luis. Because if he finds out that I am pregnant with Julian Crane's child, he will kill him, Mama. And he will spend the rest of his life in jail. And what will Luis do when he finds out what you've done to your baby? What will Ethan do, Teresa? Well, they won't find out, Mama. I am doing it this way so that no one finds out. You santo. Mama. This is isn't just about me. Oh, this is also about the people that I love. Really, is it? This pregnancy won't just destroy my life, Mama. It will destroy Ethan and Luis's lives. What about that life that you are carrying inside?
can't. You have, haven't you? You have actually fallen in love with Grace. <laughs> well, this is wonderful. Grace and Sam's marriage will be over soon. Sam will be with me. Poor Gracie will be all alone. Who better for her to spend the rest of her life with than the man she thought was her husband? <laughs> oh. Would you know, David? I always thought you were too hard-hearted to fall in love with anyone. All I'm saying is that Grace is a good person. She doesn't deserve what you have in store for her. It's too cruel, Ivy. Especially at Christmas. Mm. A mother's most vulnerable at the holidays. Oh. Besides, what about me? How many Christmases have I been forced to spend without Sam? How much more am I expected to suffer? <gasps> Selfish to the end. Do you know what it's like for me? in my own home, fighting for my position as Mrs. Crane since Julian married that oversexed, top-heavy tramp, Rebecca. And Ethan, Ethan, who means everything to me, is about to marry a girl I despise. You know, actually, I met Teresa, and she seems quite lovely. Oh, on the surface, maybe. But deep down, she's a conniving witch, just like Grace. Grace? Grace, a conniving witch? <laughs> I think your pain medication has you hallucinating. Please. No one is as good as Grace pretends to be. I mean, always smiling and, and doing good deeds and, and doling out that god-awful tomato soup cake. Tomato what? My point exactly. Who ever heard of a, of a cake made out of tomato soup? It's, it's got to be toxic. Just like Grace. Underneath all that sugar and spice, she's a viper. Which is why Sam belongs to me. He'd be much happier. Sam and Grace have three children. And a niece. Sam had a son with me first. Is this how you justify what you're doing? Just stop arguing and do what I tell you to do. I like I have any choice. You are blackmailing me. Yes, I am. And don't forget it. Look, this is our big moment. But we have to be very careful. No one can see us together, it would be disastrous. Especially since I'm this close to ripping Sam from Grace and making him mine forever. Oh. Where does a witch have to go to get away from Christmas? Timmy doesn't know. Maybe a kibbutz? It, you little traitor. I told you I hate Christmas. So did a man that Timmy read about. His name was Scrooge. Bar Humbug. That's him. He hated Christmas. But then he was visited by three spirits. And after that, he loved Christmas. Yes, well... Ebenezer probably discovered that business gifts were tax deductible. Enough of that holiday hooey. I'm going to buy some chestnuts. To roast over an open fire? No. To throw on the ice to trip up the skaters. still blocked off. I feel a lot better if I could just get in there and see that Charity's still on ice. I'm 
Gotta get into this cave. But how? Book of spells. I bet you there's something in here that can get this cave open. Let Teresa realize that what she's thinking of doing is not the answer to her problem. But a grave mistake that will haunt her the rest of her life. Please, Mama. Don't do this. And then you are the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I have put my faith in God. You must too. Try to, to understand, Mama. What I'm doing. I don't have a choice. If I don't do this, I will lose Ethan. Better you should lose Ethan than lose your soul, Teresa. But, Mama, other people don't believe that. Maybe not. But we do. And that's all that matters, Teresa. Menina, I know that somewhere deep in your heart, you believe that. I know you do. So, I'm, I'm begging you to please, please listen to that part of yourself now before it's too late. Por favor, Teresita. Por favor, no lo hagas. Sorry, Mama. <laughs> well, guys, I'm gonna go check on Eve. And I still have some presents trapped. Well, I want to thank everyone for helping us get settled in. You're hey, wait, I'll let everybody go out through the kitchen, because I've got cookies for the giant elves. Okay. <laughs> and hot chocolate for you kids to take care of. Oh, like, okay? Thank you. Little elves. Bye. Thanks, Mr. B. Have fun. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Sam, I am so happy. Me too, Grace. Me too. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ivy. What are you doing here? I told you. Sam is expecting some sort of action in the annulment papers. Well, I didn't expect you to bring them by now. I want to give Grace and Sam this housewarming gift to keep them off their guard. Now, get out of here before somebody sees you and tell Sam. He's already uh, suspicious of you and he's not very trusting of me either. What are you two doing out here? Say, 
goodbye to your dreams of Olympic gold. Tammy! Tammy! Guess what? Honestly, Timmy, you've got the worst timing of anyone I know. What is it? Timmy just called Tabby's answering machine, and Dr. Eve Russell left a message saying that she wants Timmy and Tabby to go there right now. Why? Timmy put his name on a transplant list for a donor. They must have found a heart for Timmy. I can't believe it! Timmy can't believe it either! Timmy's Christmas wish is coming true! He's going to get a heart! And be a real boy! Hey, Miguel. Where's Charity? Hey, um... She's not feeling well. Oh. I hope Charity feels better soon. Because this is the time of year when you most want to be with the ones you love. See ya. Why don't you want to be with me, Charity? I feel like something's come between us, but I don't know what it could be. Good. Ice is still frozen solid. There's no way that Charity can get out. Once I seal this cave, I'm safe. Miguel's as good as mine. Stop it, Kay. This is no time to go soft, especially when you're this close to getting Miguel. I'm sorry, Charity. But you're stuck in there for good. At least now I know you can't get out. <laughs>